G'day, Aussie Health Girl here. Happy 16th day of Christmas as part of my 24 day Christmas challenge. So, we went to the farmer's markets yesterday and as part of that I've got this great selection of vegetables. Everybody loves pumpkin soup. I don't know anyone who doesn't and who wouldn't because it's so warming for the heart. So I've got a beautiful pumpkin here. This is called a Jack Pumpkin. Did you know that Jack Pumpkin stands for just another pumpkin? Most people don't know that. I know. There you go. Now you know. Everyone thinks it has some fancy name or Japanese pumpkin. It's not. It's just another pumpkin. So we don't call it Jack Pumpkin because that would be just another pumpkin pumpkin. So anyway, enough of the pumpkin. <laughs> so we've got our pumpkin. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to do a Thai inspired pumpkin soup. So this is something that I've created over time just to give it a little bit more punch. So I love Thai cuisine and I love the Thai herbs. So I'm going to cook my pumpkin with some carrots, potatoes, sweet potato, a few things I've got left over in the fridge. Um, I'm going to put some onion and garlic in there because you just have to. Um, and the other things I'm going to put in there at the end, just to give it some punch, are going to be things I'm going to sprinkle it with some chilli and some coriander, those lovely Thai spices. Um, there's going to be a bit of coconut cream in there as well. And then I've got these awesome little things that you can pick up from your Chinese grocer. These are fried shallots. Trust me on these. You want these in your pantry. They are crunchy, they are delicious, and they're a fantastic soup topper. So let's get started. Let's chop all these ingredients, stick them in the bowl, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so there's my pot of ingredients. I've got pumpkin, sweet potato, carrots, potato, onion, garlic, and I've also grated some ginger in there as well. So all that's left to do now is add some water from my lovely filtered water. We only need to add a little bit. It doesn't need to be drowning in water. We'll put it on the stove top to cook until it's, uh, until it's all tender. Okay, so we've drained some of the liquid. It's all nice and tender now. It's been cooking probably for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, it's nice and tender and I've drained some of the liquid. Now, I've reserved the liquid in a jug on the side because what you want to do is just add back what you need to get the consistency that you like. All that's left to do is whiz it up with my little whizzer here. I am going to add a little bit of coconut cream to it. Yum, that gives it that beautiful Thai uh, flavor to it as well. Coconut, delicious, and add some really good fat to it. That's all we need to do now. So we're blending nicely. The other thing we're going to add is a bit of curry powder. That adds a bit of spice to it too. So a beautiful bit of curry, some salt. We love our Himalayan crystal salt. As you all know, it's my favorite. We'll add that in. And we're also gonna add some pepper. Love the cracked pepper. And mix again until it's blended. There we have it, the finished product. This is our beautiful creamy pumpkin soup ready to go. Now these are the garnishes that are going to set it apart from your average pumpkin soup. So I've got some beautiful chopped coriander and it's a good idea to leave it on the board like this so everyone can help themselves. So we're going to put some coriander in there and some chili, two of my favourite spices. Love, love, love the Thai flavours. The other thing we're going to add on there as I said before is the chopped shallots or the fried shallots. Delicious. I'm going to put a little bit of the cream, the um, coconut cream on there as well, just to give it a little bit of extra Thai flavour. And last but not least, some delicious Australian tiger prawns. Aren't they just beautiful? Not much left to do now, except try it and tell you how good it is. Might just be something that will make its way onto your Christmas dinner table or any time at all. Something a little bit different, full of flavour, full of texture, absolutely delicious. I guarantee you're going to love it. Merry Christmas.